Greetings! In this video, I'll be discussing and showing you what to actually look out for when having to choose between a 1440p and a 2160p 4K UHD monitor. Most people might think the higher the screen resolution, the better, right? But watch out there, it's not as simple as that. While you do get benefits at 2160p 4K, there are some major disadvantages as well. And in this video, I'll be showing you what those are. First of all, I'd like to thank ASO for providing both the FlexScan EV2780 on the left and the EV2785 on the right side. I wouldn't be able to do that video without the help of ASO, so thanks. First, let's cover the basics. 1440p is the shortened form for a screen resolution of 2560 by 1440. 2160p meaning 3840 by 2160 pixels. When doing the math, we are getting around 3.7 million pixels at 1440p and at 2160p we are staring at roughly 8.3 million. So more than twice as many pixels compared to 1440p. However, some of you might be asking what the hell's up with 4K or UHD? What's that? Well, this more or less is another term for 2160p, whereas 4K technically shouldn't be used for 3840 by 2160 since 4K actually stands for 4096 by 2160. The correct term to use for 4K can consumer monitors we know actually is UHD, Ultra HD. 1440p has such a term as well, QHD or more accurately WQHD. Ok, now both monitors are 27 inch screens, both offer incredible color reproduction, great ergonomic features and whatnot, but what we actually want to know is what's the real difference in day to day use between 1440p and 2160p. The Windows OS, as you may know, makes use of all the offered pixels and you do benefit from more pixels, which equals more workspace, more area to work with, meaning in general you could have a lot more windows and programs programs open at 2160p without having to resize some of those to actually fit the screen. However, it's the pixel density what matters to most of you. The higher it is, the sharper the image. So if both screens are exactly the same size, 27 inches in this case, you'll get a higher pixel density on the screen with a higher resolution, therefore a sharper image. However, the trade-off when staying at 27 inches on high-res monitors is that the text is a lot smaller than on a 1440p screen at 27 inches. I have the exact windows open on both screens right now and clearly everything's bigger on the 1440p screen. However, you can fit more of those windows on the 2160p screen and the image is sharper overall. Unfortunately, most of us normal humans won't be able to read text comfortably at a normal viewing distance on the 2160p monitor. And this is where scaling comes in. This feature scales all the text and images, basically adjusting the size of everything to make it as big as on the 1440p screen or even bigger if you decide to go for or even higher scaling. This way everything is displayed much larger and we still do have the benefit of a high pixel density. Scaling is the solution to tiny text on the 2160p monitor, but it can lead to issues. Some aspects of Windows 10 for instance do not scale well, same goes for certain applications. Some programs don't scale at all, remain all blurry or scale only halfway. And this is a problem. There are certain workarounds here and there, but it's a hassle and no guarantee either. How about 1440p? I personally don't think scaling is needed at 1440p, I can read the text perfectly fine. But should you need to rely on scaling on such a screen as well, all those negative side effects mentioned for 2160p would apply in this same way. So the bottom line is, it's not so much the resolution that's causing problems, it's how scaling works in Windows. Whether or not that will change sometime in the future, I don't know, but I sure do hope so. Other than that, if all you really care about are movies and games, well, let me tell you, the higher the resolution, the more awesome and gorgeous the image looks. However, you do need a quite powerful graphics card to drive a UHD monitor, since more than twice as many pixels need to be rendered out. So if you don't actually have a really powerful GPU, you might as well would be better off with 1440p for gaming as well. And no, scaling does not affect game 
films and movies, I'll find there. But some might be asking whether or not one could just lower the resolution to like 1440p on a 2160p screen. And yes, you can do that, but it's not the monitor's native resolution, which means the lower pixel count needs to be displayed on a higher pixel count screen. The result? A not so sharp and a pretty blurry image in fact. So I would not recommend doing that. Always drive a monitor at its native resolution. And yeah, that's about it. I'm not really that talented in describing all this matter in simple and easy sentences, but I hope you still got my point and now more or less know what to look out for. At the end of the day, if you want 2160p, don't want to rely on scaling, then the only chance is getting a 2160p monitor bigger than 27 inches. And with that said, thanks for watching.